What's up, Gypsy fam? It's Justin. Paul. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, whoa. <laughs> we said we're gonna say that a lot more in the videos. <laughs> Aggressive. Yeah, you know, I mean, because we want you guys to subscribe. We want you guys to have fun, and we're gonna bring you guys a lot of new and different content from now on. Yeah. So first of all, it'd really help us out if you guys would uh, click, uh, click that notification bell and subscribe to our channel, of course. Uh, according to our analytics, about 70% of you love watching our videos but aren't fully subscribed just yet, so please do that. Uh, secondly, uh, our videos have been pretty disorganized lately, just, you know, in our opinion anyway, and we want to go back to giving you guys a bit more structure. Mm -hmm. And so that means, um, that means, first of all, there's always going to be some sort of informational segment, because we know a lot of you guys depend on us for, like, how to legit check Chrome Hard, the history of gallery department, yeah. Yada yada yada. Like that's the kind of stuff that we like teaching you guys. So we'll try and do a bit more of that. Maybe how to take a good fit pick. I know yeah. a lot of people in our DMs are asking us about that. Um, but then also, you know, like have styling a, yeah, videos, styling. just a little bit of everything, just to get you guys like looking on, in tip top shape. You know what I mean? But also, we'll still have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So after the information segment, we're probably gonna do like more of a fun segment where we'd like go out to eat or like stuff that you guys like watching, interaction with customers stuff like that and yeah so that's well how it's gonna be from now on this episode is gonna be pretty fun we are going to actually show you guys how to take a good fit pick because that's been probably our most requested question in our DMs is like where do you guys go like how do you guys pose uh, what, what, how do you edit the photos it's like it's really not all that it's really not all that I think the, the real secret that we're gonna show you today is maybe not try so hard have fun yeah you just, you just have fun and uh it, it, it kind of translates but i mean first we gotta go clean up uh the cafe yeah we're gonna clean up the cafe yeah, first so stay tuned drip tea fam <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> tagged our store so we're just cleaning it up right now they tagged the window because they couldn't reach you know higher spots you know like under the bridge or something fucking loser hey man if you're watching this you're a fucking loser bro who gets up on a window on a small business window weak go climb a ladder climb a ladder get yeah. up get up there bro go get up in an alleyway go shimmy up an alleyway like like if you tagged like above our sign you know i'd have been like that's respect look if it's a respectable that's cool respect. sign like if it's a respectable like, place like, like this whole thing you know like people <laughs> like the whole pneumos let's say let's say you hopped on the roof of a car spider man onto that balcony and got up on that brick wall and got right up on those windows that'd be cool that'd have been sick i'd have respect for you yeah tagging is a culture man have respect for it and have respect for small business too kid kid So we just finished cleaning our cafe window. We walked back over here and we just noticed this new surprising piece for us. Um, thank you to uh, whoever did this. It looks great. Not really. <laughs> and then over here, we got a little, if you gonna tag, don't tag your last name. And then we got uh, this piece right here. We got whatever that is. We got, uh, got them blues, and then we got this thing. Yeah, so don't tag our walls, please, because, you know, we have to spend all this time to cover it up again. Plus, we're going to get a new mural here, so it's going to be pretty cool, so please don't mess it up. And don't forget to subscribe. I got this. You ain't got bees. You ain't got bees. Hey guys, now our number one most asked question is how do we take our fit pics and how do we style for them and how we 
post, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Dude, yo, look what I just got in the garbage. Who threw this out? You wanna rip one? This is sick. Here's your one, bro. Okay. It's a little pack for it. Oh. Right on the street. This is a throwback. We haven't done this in a minute, but I'm just gonna rip it like this, bro. Ooh, for, for Zygarde. I got shit. All right, you guys, that. and just a quick cut. Gardevoir, Open yours Pokemon Go is Fest in Seattle one, is next week. So if you have an event Pikachu or an event Charmander or any sort of event Pokemon inside your Pokemon Go app, you get 15% off at the cafe on any drink. That's not all we're doing, though, for the event. So stay tuned. Uh, follow DripT.Seattle on Instagram, and we'll be announcing more stuff as uh, Pokemon Go Fest comes closer. All right, guys, I guess I will start off this insert. Um, this is my outfit for the day. It was something I put together that's a lot more clean, kind of summery, because the weather's nice, and I just wanted to, you know, dress a little bit cleaner today. Uh, so right here, I have the Stussy shirt. Shout out Likelihood, just pick this up. Uniqlo, tank top, chrome hearts, some nice trousers with the flare. I actually don't know the brand of these, if I'm being honest. And then uh, some Saint Laurent Wyatt's and more chrome. One of my friends actually DM me like, hey, where do you take your fit pics in Seattle? So what we do, like the owners of Drip Tea and myself and our employees and every, all of our friends do, is we just circle around our store. So our store is located Capitol Hill, pretty aesthetic location. There's a lot of stuff nearby. And we circle around the block until we find a wall that, you know, we like with our outfit. This wall behind me is the one that I chose. I chose this wall because it's a really subtle tone. I want my outfit to be the highlight of this picture. And that being my shirt is probably the brightest thing I have on me. So yeah, it would definitely stand out on a really toned down wall like this. Um, you want stuff to highlight your outfit. So I wouldn't choose the black wall because it would blend in too well with my pants. And then there's a yellow wall over there that I probably wouldn't choose either because then it would blend it with my shirt. This wall over here is just perfect. It has little mixes of color, but you can still get the full effect. So here's a pro tip for uh, your iPhoneographers or whoever it is that you ask to take your fit pic. Peep what I do when I take pictures of Justin. I've been taking fit pics of him for eight, nine years, bro. I got this. Scoot a bit more to the left. Do something a little bit more dynamic with your legs. I like the hand in the pocket. Nice. Nice, good, nice. That's cool, I like that. I like that too. Yeah, I get the detail shots. Don't be afraid to try a little harder for your homies, man. So see, I got a knee on the ground. I'm down low because this outfit makes his legs look long, and I want He's them to. He's always on his knees for me too. I am always on his knees. I'm on on my knees. For him. <laughs> I'm always on his knees. <laughs> I'm always on my knees for him, sure. But um, yeah. So not only does ooh, that's a good shot right here. Not only does his angle matter and his background matter, your angle matters too as the photographer. The lower you are, the taller your subject's gonna look, and everybody wants to look a little taller, right? But it also it helps you slim down the subject. Um, check this out right here. So back up against the wall a little bit. I don't know if you guys are gonna see this on camera, but right here, this is a really flattering angle of justice. Put that hand in your pocket. The one with the chain, yeah, that one. Yep, yep, yep. Don't be afraid to tell your model what to do. Kind of pose them a little bit, try and get the optimal angle of them. And then, don't be afraid to get in close too for some detail shots, because not everyone can see or zoom into like your belt. And like show off a little bit, show off your accessories. You could actually keep this hand in that pocket. Oh, you can take that off if you want. But keep this hand in this pocket right here. Yeah, and I'm gonna try and get all your chrome in one shot right here. Okay. And there you go. From from front to full. You can even get like this. Push it. One, two, three. I could I could probably get everything. Hold on. Upper body. Maybe one from the side. That's a cool one right there. Okay. 
and we'll be posting all these pictures for you guys too but um yeah tips don't forget save for the moment <laughs> get one with your best friend get, get one with the get one with the homie dude <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> these are actually sick, what the fuck? I'm gonna need these. Oh yeah, let me get these. I need these. Oh, I need these. Yeah. Oh, fire. <laughs> I actually need those! <laughs> Who's that? Huh. Right there! What? Rare appearance, dude! Who's that? In the car! Oh shit. Orlando! <laughs> Orlando! <laughs> Got this sucker swung. Are you guys filming right now? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yo, this is a. This is my uncle, man. <laughs> <laughs> what up, man? What's up, what's up, what's up? This is an extremely bad, rare appearance. Um, Orlando, he's like the most gangster of us all, bro. He got like fifty thousand houses. He's like a multi-billionaire. He's also Kenjay's uncle. He's got the LeBron tee on. He's got the LeBron <laughs> tee on. This is where I get my. He's also my partial passion. owner of the market, by the way, guys. He's and also he's the only yeah. owner that has a beer. So yeah, if you're into, bro, it, straight, if you're into it, straight. You're into it. That's a grown man right there, man. He's gangster. He's also never here. <laughs> We're not saying use active construction sites to take pit picks. Yeah. But don't be afraid to explore your neighborhood a little bit. You know, it could look a little dirty, it could look a little messy, but chances are it's gonna turn out pretty cool. It'll give your picture some texture. Um, like I said earlier, you can use a bunch of props. Probably not when they're actually doing construction, but usually they're not here. <laughs> we kind of take over their spots, but they're here today, so we're gonna find a different spot for Paul's picture. thing I like about being in Capitol Hill is there's so many textures, there's so many different kinds of material used for buildings. I mean, there's a lot of brick and there's diff there's a lot of different colored brick too. Like you have the white brick, the brown brick, you got black brick over there, you have yellow, you have literally any color that you think of to work with. So it's really easy to find some spots over here. Plus you can come visit us at the market and we can show you guys some spots too. Don't ever be afraid to ask us to take your pit pick because we're pretty good at it and we'll do it. We have no problem with that. So, another thing to keep in mind when you're scouting a location and when to take a pit pick is like the stuff around you, like we were saying earlier about the construction zone. This is just a random metal bench against a random wall in Cap Hill. I'm gonna take a seat and we're gonna take some pictures. And um, just so you guys know, I'll break down my outfit real quick. I have a vintage snap-on t-shirt. I have a uh, old number nine distressed denim, like Wheaties as usual. So t-shirt, jeans, derbies, right? But it's the accessories that sort of make my uh, outfit pop. So I got my chrome, 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 chrome. Oh yeah. Chrome. Bench. So if you feel like your outfit's a little boring, you could always do a little bit more to spice it up. And we're also gonna break one of the rules we taught you earlier, because you could do that too. It is a blue wall and I'm wearing a blue shirt, but they're different shades of blue. So kind of bend the rules wherever you want to, okay? So the cool thing about bringing an accessory like this is it lets you highlight different parts of your outfit. Just bringing a bag lets you highlight different parts of your outfit. Like, check this out. Standing shot from straight across, right? I'd probably like, I don't know, I'd want to show off the buckle, just keep my arm here. I do this a lot, right? So I just stand straight across like this, right? Or I could, you know, I want to show off the side of my outfit. I like how these pants fit, I like how the shirt fits. Probably do something like that, right? And then if I want to show off uh, the back of my jeans, how there's like only one pocket. And the graphic on the back, I'd probably do something like this. Maybe look back. There's a lot you could do with a bag. You could wear it in the front like this to get like a close-up shot to show off like the chest area, right? There's a lot of ways to accessorize a bag. I could even throw it over my shoulder like this. You know what I mean? There's a lot you could do with just a bag and it makes your whole outfit a bit less boring because this is really just t-shirts, jeans, derby, right? Like 
Paul was saying earlier, it's all about the photographer and about the angle of the shot. Like you said, when you get down low, you get a more dynamic photo. It shows out more pieces. It just looks cooler. <laughs> so I'm gonna get low from the boy. You know, drop it down low for the boy. Get some good shots. And get some board shots. Okay. Try your best to just look relaxed. You don't wanna like, you don't wanna stiffen up. See, I'm naturally kind of hunchback, so I sort of slouch like this. And it's, it's just how I stand. And uh, I think it's pretty easy to tell if somebody's standing the way they normally stand in a photo or not, right? Also, if you don't know how to pose, um, good friend Jeremy, your expert, uh, also told me like, don't be afraid of spam. Like Kenneth does this as well. He'll just sit here and take like over a hundred photos. And that works too while he's just moving around. So you don't actually have to be in a pose. You get a more dynamic shot, you get a more candid shot. And I'll show you kind of how to do that right now. Just like, uh, yeah, do like move just do a walk, do, do move, move around. Yeah, yeah. This, this move is called the move around. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna create like a small square for himself. Just imagine a big square right here. He's just gonna walk around it in a circle so you get like 360 view and then you find the right shot after that. You know some shots are gonna look sloppy and some shots might just be the one, you never know. Also when you're shooting, you don't need like anything crazy. You don't need a camera that's like, you know, top of the line. It does help sometimes but just iPhone is the way to go. And make sure you find someone that's, you know, passionate like you are, so that way you can get the right angles. Also, he can spend like hours at a time focusing on one spot, taking 100 pictures of his homie, because that's just how we do it, baby. <laughs> Shot number, uh, probably like 600. thing with location scouting lighting matters too Justin and I prefer places either under shade or you know with an even even overcast right so for example I'm wearing a dark outfit so you would think I want this white wall right but look what happens when I step in against the wall I can pose all I want you can get all the angles you want but I'm blown out my face is exploding I can't even yeah. see I can't even open my eyes so Watch yeah. out for where the sun's hitting too when you scout locations. And the thing about the sun is like, you can't take the sun out of a picture. Like, at least not as easily, but if you're in a darker place, you can always brighten up the picture. You can use the editing app like Visco, you can use Instagram editing, you can do whatever editing app you prefer, but you can make yourself look like you're in a brighter area even when you're in the dark. Not super dark though. <laughs> All right guys, this is our good friend Tia, also the cameraman's girlfriend, also my other girlfriend. And <laughs> we are here to shoot this segment with the girl. So we're gonna, I mean, it doesn't have to be a girl obviously, but we're just gonna use everything well, we taught you guys today to take pictures of her. So that's a background, she's wearing all black. This is a nice, it's like an accent wall, but it's, there's not a lot of black on it that's gonna wash her out. You know, um, we're gonna use the good lighting over here. The sun's not beating down on us. Yeah, and if you're in Seattle, this is literally at our location. So, like we said before, we haven't walked more than a two block radius to get these pictures taken. Um, so, Tia, you wanna show off your fit real quick? Hi. This fit. <laughs> yeah, so. We let her use one of the Chrome Hearts Pearl necklaces from the shop because it accents really well with the rest of her outfit. These are also Balenciaga glasses that also look really good with her outfit. And yeah, we're gonna start with that. See how we wanted to highlight the Balenciaga glasses? They were, there, it's not on both sides, like there's no Balenciaga hit on this side, but there is one on this side. So we wanted to, you know, be able to create a picture where you can see all her highlighted pieces in one. So the necklace and the glasses. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I forgot to say that earlier. Hit the <laughs> bell notification so you guys don't miss out on these tips and tricks on how to get your fit pics looking 
great. All right, guys, I hope you learned something new about taking fit pics. I hope you guys learned something new about, you know, the location that we're in. Hopefully, you guys come visit. We'll take fit pics for you. You can always ask. Or with you. Or with you. And you can ask the employees, too, because we do theirs every day, and they do ours. So everybody here is well-versed in fit pics. So if you guys want to learn more tips, if you have any more questions about anything that you watched today, make sure you ask them in the comments. And like always, subscribe, hit the bell notification. You don't want to miss any more tip videos we're coming out with. And we're gonna go eat now at our favorite Thai restaurant, Bai Tong. Until this one opens up. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're on our way to Bai Tong, like Justin said, one of our favorite Thai places. We do have a couple more that we'll show you eventually that are also contenders for favorites, but um, it's in the neighborhood. Bai Tong Street Cafe is in the neighborhood. It's a great little walk from our cafe. So as you guys know, Drift Tea Cafe is on the corner at 10th and Pike. Drift Tea Market is on the corner at 10th and Pine. And if you just go up to the main street Pike right here, and you bang a right and you walk all the way up this hill by the time we'll be on your right eventually you'll know you're going the right way when you see this giant uh, coffee gnome I think Cafe Vita is great too by the way they roast their own beans, good coffee what's up brother? how you doing? <laughs> hey alright guys by the time food cafe on the corner of 12 and Pike. It's a great restaurant. We made it. We did. Oh, oh, yeah. What's the Their seats are really bouncy. Oh, and I love bouncy like seats. They're really comfortable. Highly recommend it. Uh, if you guys never been to Bai Tong before, come. Come sanitizer. If you've never been to Bai Tong before, there's a few dishes I would highly recommend. Um, number one, top tier. Crispy garlic chicken. A lot of Thai restaurants do it, but this place is just diff it hit different. The chicken's always crispy. It's never came out soggy like all the other places. So shout out by Tong, whatever you guys are doing for that, it's right. And then I go with the classics like the Pad Thai um, or the Pad Siu. Those are like my two favorite noodle dishes. I know it's really basic, but they're really good. Pad Ki Mao, if you like more veggies, is also really good. And also, if you enjoy their drinks, we're gonna try one of their new seasonal drinks today. Um, you'll see it later in the video. It looks really cool, so stay tuned. Another dish that I highly recommend is the papaya salad. If you guys like spicy food, I recommend getting it like three stars, or maybe maybe less if you don't like spicy food, like a one star. But papaya salad is really tasty. It's really refreshing on a hot day like today. And also, you can't forget about their cow mangai. Cow mangai is a very famous like Thai chicken dish, chicken and rice. Comes with a side of soup. Um, it comes with rice that's uh, made with chicken broth. And then you get your cold chicken. And the sauce is chef's kiss. So good. So make sure you guys come and try those items out. Food was good, I'm super full. We are headed back to the shop. We got two special guests coming by. You guys are gonna meet them in a second. Appreciate Paul at the Drip Tea family for always hooking us up, always taking care of us, showing love. Yep, always showing love. Chrome heart pieces, you know, you got that on deck. Uh, shop at Drip Tea if you don't, you lame. Yep. Oh, <laughs> surprise. Hey. Oh. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned some tips and tricks on how to do some fit pics. Boy, that all rhymed. Uh, <laughs> if you guys have any more questions about anything, about what you watched today, make sure you ask them in the comments below. And yeah, like always, take our advice. Come out here, come to the shop, get a fit pic with us, or let us shoot your fit pic for you. We're always readily available. All the employees know how to do it as well. So yeah, like always, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>